y'all. Thanks for joining your girl, Danny Blue. If this is your first time seeing me, make sure you hit the subscribe button and join the fam bam. And also hit that little bell so you can get notified whenever I drop a new video because apparently YouTube won't any other way let you know that I've dropped a new video. If this is not your first time, welcome, welcome, welcome back. Thanks for holding me down. Um, my channel is basically beauty, lifestyle, natural hair, and fashion. Um, so yeah, we're here. And I guess from the title, you know, I'm about to talk about these busted old lashes that Ardell got the nerve to be out here peddling the folks. Yeah, we're just going to kick this off all the way. So, you know, I've bought Ardell lashes before. You know, every now and then, I like to indulge and just buy a few packs at a time. Now, granted, I have not bought a few. I have not bought any Ardell lashes in a minute because I've been loving, like, my Velour lashes, my Sephora lashes, my Eye Lures. Like, I've been dealing with those, and they've been just treating me right. But I decided to try these Ardell Faux Mink lashes and it says they're luxuriously lightweight with not free invisiband it contains one pair of lashes and that's it and i don't have the lashes on because you know what they were crappy and they broke yeah we'll get to that um so this is the ardell faux mink number 811 this is what they look like in the packaging just normal cheap packaging these are like i want to say five bucks maybe tops and you know i got them because they look so different online than they do actually in person and this is not the look that i thought they were um they looked a little bit more fluttery online and again i have the 812s these are the 811s and i bought the 812s because they look a little bit more real like they look like natural lashes if i just want to give my lashes a little ump and just take my look a, fur, a bit further not you know all the way out there glam and these I thought okay they take it to the next level because they were flirty but they did not look like this online so that kind of pisses me off you know I just thought they would do me right but they were just bogus now I will say for the faux mink they do feel good I'm sorry, y'all. Somebody is right next door to me. Y'all know when you do car vlogs, anybody can roll up on you and yeah. But they feel really good. They feel really good. They actually even look cute. So I wasn't that mad when I seen them. But I was like, you know what? Okay, it's whatever. I'll try them out. I put them on my eyes. They made me look like a clown. They were extra wide, extra, just, they were extra. I have like, I, I want to say normal size eyes and they were just too long for my eyes so I already had to cut them for one so that's what I already was irritated about then the band that they have yo the band is supposed to be an invisible band so I you know just pulled them down that's how I removed my lashes I got that trick from a youtuber like years ago on how she said she removes her eyelashes so you don't hurt the lashes or whatever so this is what they look like and they look pretty janky like they do when you just have them out and then even when you bend them they just don't look cute at all and the band is clear um i don't like that but it's very very thin very flexible and that was a good thing now as i was taking down the second one you saw how i just pulled it down all i did was pull it down like this and the mug just broke on me so i'm gonna take this off so you can see what i'm talking about so like where is that okay it's that little white strip that you see hanging down that little white strip right underneath the center it just broke on me and that's why that piece on the end is just hanging off like that because it's off of this little white strip that's right there that broke these are cheap eyelashes but I wasn't expecting them to be that cheap and break because I had put one on my eyes and I was like okay I'm gonna live with it it's not the worst it's not the best they were five dollars whatever I got five times the points I guess I live with it 
but these y'all these were so disappointing they just pissed me off um i just they just look too fake on the eye they didn't i mean elf has better lashes than this um who else like i've gotten them from ebay from china like you know what i'm saying and this was really really upsetting i've gotten like five pairs of lashes for a dollar and they were better than this and they were better quality these were very cheaply made um, just because you pay a little doesn't mean the quality has to be lacking so I'm just really really disappointed because I thought they were just going to be like a really nice fluttery collection uh, asset to my collection and they just hurt my feelings because that ain't what it was you know what I'm saying and now I got to take these mugs back and I hate to do this because I hate taking stuff back but I mean since I think Ardell Lashes now are buy one get one 50% off at um, um, Ulta I'm just going to take these back and just buy two of my main bays that I know work you know what I'm saying and just go from there because this right here is just ridiculous and it's hurtful so I'm good on these. I want to thank you for watching make sure you drop down any comments below if you've actually used these before and let me know what your interactions have been with Ardell this is the first time I've ever had this type of quality I mean lack of quality so yeah a bit frustrated thanks for watching make sure you give me a big thumbs up if this was helpful I'll see you guys in the next video Make sure you're subscribed and thanks for watching.